Okay, it's Sunday, it's raining. What a great day for a DIY. What's that? You're judging me for wearing the same sweater? No, how dare you? I wore this. No, you're right, actually. You're right, I wore this sweater two videos ago. Maybe I should make a new one. What's up, everybody? Today, I'm gonna show you guys how to make this type of shirt, AKA bleach tie-dye. Well, it's actually all it's known as. <laughs> Is, is bleach tie-dye. When I first debuted this sweater over on Instagram, a lot of you guys were like, did you make this yourself? And I never responded. That was my response. No, I didn't. I actually bought it like this. However, I'm actually gonna show you guys how to make your own. Now, this is a very easy technique, but it also happens very quick. Let's get into it. I'm gonna show you guys exactly what you need for this craft, where to buy the stuff. I guess some recommendations, because there are different ways you can do this, but I'm gonna show you a few different ways. This is how you make a bleach tie-dye sweater. When you're making one of these shirts, you need to pick the right color of clothing. This was originally a navy blue, and when you add bleach to it, it goes to white. But if you stop the process about halfway, It'll actually stay a little bit pink. Blacks, any dark colors, browns, dark grays, dark colors are where this DIY really thrives. I went to like a Value Village, a Goodwill, and I picked up three different types. Okay, so I got, I got a hoodie. It's a black hoodie, just simple, with a hood. That's what a hoodie is. I got a t-shirt with just a simple design. Again, it's black. And I picked up a long sleeve, not a hoodie, plain long sleeve, black again. Now I actually know how to do only one of the techniques. But in this video, we're gonna try different ones to see which one works the best. It's gonna be so fun. And then hopefully you guys at home can pick which technique you wanna do. It's very easy to mess up because you cannot reverse it. It's best to wear clothes while doing this that you aren't afraid to ruin. I'm already wearing a bleach dyed shirt, so it's gonna blend in if I mess up. Second thing you're gonna need. Elastics. Now you're not actually gonna need this many elastics. I just have this because of past videos. Eight to ten. We're doing a few shirts. If you're doing one shirt, you're only gonna need three. So let's just let's just grab a bunch. You're gonna need some gloves. Very important, guys, because we are using bleach. You can pick these up at the dollar store. These are just some plastic rubber gloves. These are important. Because we're working with bleach, you want to protect your skin. Because this stuff will irritate your skin. If you get in your eyes, it's very dangerous. It can make you go blind. So make sure you have some protection on your hands. You're going to need a squeeze bottle. You can get at the dollar store. This is literally a squeeze bottle. This will be in like the barbecue section at the dollar store. You can also use empty squeeze bottles from soap, old ketchup bottles, anything where you can kind of control the spray. These are great. You just go... Two dollars at the dollar store. And last but not least, the most important ingredient, some bleach. I got this at the dollar store, believe it or not. As easy as this DIY is, because we're using bleach, I suggest you have help from a parent, someone that knows the significance of what bleach can do. I mean, look what it does to a shirt. And this is within minutes. Do this in a well-ventilated area. That's all you're gonna need. Now that we've got over the materials, let's get started. Step one, you're gonna grab a piece of clothing that you're doing the bleach tie-dye with. First piece of clothing is we're doing this hoodie. Lay down the hoodie flat on a table. You're gonna grab wherever you want the center of your bleach tie-dye to be. So wherever you want it to like warp into. So for us, I'm gonna do like the center of the star. Grab it and start to spin. and just keep spinning. So it's kind of like this little cinnamon bun. Step number two. While you're holding this all raveled up like this, you're gonna grab an elastic and you're gonna wrap it around. So it's one cross section here. You're gonna do a third one, like that. And yeah, we'll do a fourth one. So like that. This is what your shirt should look like. Kind of like a cinnamon bun or like a pie that's been cut. So this right here is option one for bleach tie-dye. And that's the way I know how to do it. Option number two. For option number two, we're gonna take our long sleeve here, the non-hoodie, and we're gonna do it in a little bit of a different way. So we're gonna actually roll it. And now we've got a little roll like this. We're gonna put elastics on it now. Okay, so we have two here. This is option number two. I've never done this before, but I'm actually really curious to see how this kind of turns out. This one might be like stripey or something, I don't know. And I guess technique number three, which I'm not really even sure what we're gonna do with this. Let's do it, let's do uh, two spins. Let's just see what happens here. So I'm not, I'm not <laughs> this is just a bunched up mess, but that's the whole point of this. We're gonna see what happens. One, two, three, 
four. And that is technique number three. We have technique number one, which was the cinnamon bun with the single twist. We have technique number two, which is like the sausage roll. One, two, three, four, five, six different slots. And the shirt is just essentially just rolled up. And technique number three, two twists and then just kind of a bunch up. Since this is where bleach comes in, you're really gonna wanna protect whatever you're doing this on. So I'm gonna lay down some paper or like a liner of some kind. Go ahead and put on your gloves. Next step, you're gonna take your squirt bottle and you're gonna fill it up halfway with water. So since this squeeze bottle is eight fluid ounces, we're filling it up to four. The mix is one for one, half water, half bleach. Go ahead and fill the rest with bleach and then close that back up. And just kind of mix the bleach and water together. Step three, you're gonna take a plate or a dish or something, place it down. Technique number one. With technique number one, we have actually this pie cut. What we're gonna do is we're gonna dye this section, this section, this section, and this section. So these four, every other one. Now this reaction happens very quick. Ready, set, go. While it's doing that, you're gonna quickly flip it over, do the exact same thing again. All right, well that absorbs the bleach, we're gonna do shirt number two, which is the sausage roll. So let's go ahead and try this one. One, skip one. Two, skip one. Three, now we're gonna rotate it and get the opposite side. We're gonna leave that. You can already see it's already losing its color. All right, let's go ahead and do shirt number three. Now, just taking a quick look at what we have, you can already see this one has already lost a lot of its color at its spots, which is great. This one kind of stopped, the hoodie. So I think we're done with this one. We're just gonna let it sit for a little bit longer. Let's go ahead and take our hoodie first. So I'll take the elastics off. Okay, let's see how this looks. Not so good. This one almost looks like spores. It's all right, it's kind of sick. Okay, that's number one. Technique number two, which I am hoping is the promising one, totally orange, it's crazy. Technique number two. Ooh. This one's kind of badass. Again, the issue is the bleach isn't going all the way up, but it it's created this like fire looking. That's our best one yet. This one, I didn't like the color it turned out to be. Not bad. No, this one sucks, man. So once you have all your shirts out of the elastics, you're gonna toss them in the shower and you're gonna rinse them all with cold water. The last step, once you've rinsed your shirt in the shower or the bath and got rid of most of the bleach, you're then gonna toss it into the wash. Do a cycle where it actually cleans itself and then obviously put it in the dryer. And then it's baked in and it's safe to wear. Let's check out our results here. Oh, damn, baby. Yo, this actually turned out kind of sick. I gotta tell you, this turned out much better than I thought it did. I don't know if the wash did any, I think it did. The wash kind of boosted it. Oh man, this is badass. Hell yeah. It like dyed the hood as well. Oh man. I'm gonna be honest there. I was a little worried that this one wasn't gonna turn out as good, but I do think the wash helped it out a lot. This one's sick, man. So this is number one. Hell yeah. Oh, uh, hell yeah. Let's do shirt number two. Okay, here's shirt number two. It turned out crazy orange. This was the one where we actually rolled up like a sausage and did the five elastic bands. Kind of cool. You could see though the bleach didn't actually make it through all the way to the shirt, but it kind of looks like one of those cool film burns or something. So yeah, it's kind of the same all the way around. This is an XL, even though all three of these shirts started off black. I think the original colors or like the base color of the black is different. You can see the bleach on this one made it orange, like very orange. Every shirt will come out super unique. So this is this one. Let's check out shirt number three. Okay, baby. <laughs> I gotta look at this because I can't see on the camera. I can't really even see what it looks like just yet, but badass, it made it more fun. And you can see with this shirt, the original color or like the base of the dye must have been I don't know, white or something. I don't know which one is my favorite. I'm a huge fan of them all. There you guys have it. That is how you do a DIY bleach tie-dye shirt. So you can add further modifications to your designs. Never just spray your shirt with bleach and just hope for the best. You have to twist it and you have to 
turn it and stuff like that. There you guys have it. That was Sunday's DIY. If you enjoyed this video, please subscribe to my channel and give it a thumbs up. You guys can follow me on Instagram at Danocracy where I have new content every day. Photos which you guys can like or it's a story which is so much fun. <laughs> I'll stop, okay. New DIYs every Wednesday and Sunday and I believe Fridays will now be shot and forgot. So if you guys enjoy this channel, if you enjoy this content, subscribe, turn notifications on. All right guys, thank you so much for watching and I'll see you guys in my next video. See you guys later.